the rapid development of science and technology is astonishing. We went from rotary dial phones to touchscreen smartphones in what seems like a blink of an eye. Truly, our capacity for innovation that helped make our lives easier is admirable. However, as fast as our development is the depletion of resources and the deterioration of the planet we call home. Water pollution is a life-threatening global crisis that demands global attention. As the years pass, the condition of our water bodies and life in them continues to deteriorate. Water pollution affects everyone, from you and me to the people who work in marine fishing and aquaculture. As water pollution continues to destroy water bodies, the income of people whose livelihood is dependent on fishing and aquacultures gets more uncertain. According to Philippine Statistics Authority, over 1.5 million Filipinos are working in the fishing industry, and almost 800,000 of them are small-scale fishermen. With such, we can conclude that water pollution would cripple those at the bottom of the socio-economic pyramid because of income loss. Sustainability. This is one way to combat the adverse effects of environmental problems. In fact, the 11 Sustainable Development Goal of the United Nations promotes the international standards of inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable cities and communities. Under its fifth target, the organization specifically stated that hopefully, by 2030, it would be possible to significantly reduce the number of deaths and the number of people affected and substantially decrease the direct economic losses relative to global gross domestic product caused by disasters, including water-related disasters with a focus on protecting the poor and people in vulnerable situations. Algal blooms have been a huge problem for the fishing industry and the safety of people. When too much nitrogen and phosphorus enter the environment, nutrient pollution can occur. Significant increases in algae can harm water quality, food resources, and habitat. It also decreases dissolved oxygen in water that fishes and other aquatic life need. Moreover, algal blooms produce dangerous toxins such as microcystin that can seek and or kill people and animals, create dangerous zones in bodies of water, raise treatment costs for drinking water, and hurt industries that depend on clean water. Seeing the hardships that this problem causes our dear fishermen, we just knew that we had to do something as scholars of Philippine Science High School, South Surgeon Region Campus. We need to give back to our community, and with such, we present to you our project, AquaApe, a low-cost automated algae killer. It utilizes ultrasonic waves to stop the exponentially increasing growth of algae without the use of chemicals that might potentially alter other aspects of water quality. So how does it work? You know how glass can break if it's exposed to sound waves of the right frequency and amplitude? Well, it works exactly like that, but instead of glass breaking, algal bloom structure. Utilizing solar power, AquaAid's ultrasonic transducer emits sound waves, which cause the algal blooms to vibrate until they explode. The device is also equipped with a temperature and dissolved oxygen sensor to increase monitoring capability. AquaAid will turn on if it detects that the dissolved oxygen level is below normal between 80 to 120 percent with concentrations above 6.5 to 8 milligrams per liter and it will automatically stop when the dissolved oxygen level is now at normal level. After a successful operation, a message will be sent to the user of the device about the water's momentary state. The operation has concluded, algae growth has been regulated, and real-time data about the water's temperature and dissolved oxygen content has been cataloged. The most widely known method in solving algal blooms is through the use of chemicals. In comparison, AquaAid is more cost-effective in the long run because unlike chemicals, it isn't single-use. Since it is a chemical-free way of algal regulation, it poses no risks or threats to other organisms. Furthermore, AquaAid offers its own unique advantages with its portability. It utilizes solar panels as its main source of energy, hence making it sustainable and uses real-time data tracking for an interactive system. Our project would greatly help maintain the livelihood of people who are dependent on the resources our bodies of water could provide. Since ultrasonic technology promotes good water quality, it would safeguard sustainable consumption of the community, stable livelihood for fishermen, and a healthy aquatic system. Hi, I'm Mikaela Ishiraganin. My name is Ruben Sofia Usman. I am Donna Jane Jaime Amorio, and this has been AquaAid.